What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Minecraft is an absolutely gorgeous game and to be fair I have shaders on currently but still all the world generation updates we've gotten in the recent updates have looked amazing. Look at this new 1.18 generation of the world that we're getting. The 1.19 update brought us even more cool stuff with the deep dark and uh, the ancient cities and of course the warden and everything to go along with it but minecraft is an ever-changing game which means that there's going to be even more updates in the future so today we're going to be talking about eight things that could be added in the new minecraft 1.20 update all right so of course we don't know what's going to be changing in the 1.20 update but the first guess that we're going to throw out here today is that this is going to actually become a portal now, there are some reasons why this probably won't happen, at least in the 1.20 update and why it may happen later, as in they want to finish up changing things in the overworld and in biomes before they add a new dimension. So while this is unlikely, we're still going to throw it out as a guess because maybe Mojang is satisfied with where the overworld and in dimension are right now and are finally ready to add a fourth dimension. The next possibility for the 1.20 update is the Stronghold. The Stronghold in Minecraft has been around for a very long time now, and it's kind of monotonous, the same as we've always seen it, and a lot of people have been requesting a change or an update to it to make it a little more interesting before you actually go into the end dimension. And while this may not be at the top of Mojang's list, it is still a possibility for what we could be seeing in the next update. I also really wish that I could get through these doors a little bit easier. Uh, but the next thing is, of course, the end dimension. Now, the end dimension has been around for a very long time in Minecraft. The last update I, it got was in the 1.9 combat update, and that's when we got the Elytra and the final updates uh, to the end dimension. We've, of course, had some minor changes to mobs like the Shulker and things like that since, but for the most part, it is still completely the same. Now, I don't think we'll be seeing any changes to this main end island. Uh, they do, of course, want to make the boss uh, something that you want to fight, but I don't believe that they need to change the end island at all in order to do that. If they were going to be adding an update into the end dimension, that update would most likely be to the outer islands, adding some more biomes and things like that, so it's not just the endless void wasteland that we have now. Of course, for some, they like that endless wasteland, but I really think that more players would actually enter the end dimension if it were to have more out in those cities or around those cities that players want to explore. A lot of people love seeing new blocks in Minecraft, and of course, the block list is continuing to rack up to the high amounts that it's finally at now, but I do think we are still going to get a lot of new blocks, and I think those blocks are going to be coming from the end dimension biome that we're eventually going to get in Minecraft. The next possible update that we could be seeing in the 1.20 update, and I think this is far more likely than some of the ones we've checked out recently, that is probably going to be an overworld update of some kind, probably in the desert biome. A lot of players have been asking for a long time now for some updates to not only the desert biome, but also to biomes like the savanna and also the swamp biome. I really think that we could be seeing some changes to these biomes finally. I know that uh, the mangrove swamp biome was supposed to be a little addition to the swamp to make swamps uh, just kind of more variety and adding a lot to them and still players want a lot of new content in those swamps and also these deserts now just flying over this desert here and also the savannah next to it there's really nothing to them uh, i really think the deserts could use a large update not even a large update but a small update would really do it now one way in which these biomes could be updated and this is kind of a new point of an update feature we could be seeing in the near future is archaeology. Archaeology was announced at the 1.17 uh, announcement in Minecraft Live, uh, but it was never added to the game. They still had a lot they wanted to work out with it, but I believe that archaeology would be a great way in order to update all of these biomes, especially the desert and savanna. By adding different biome unique structures with archaeology, you could really make a lot of new content in these areas without adding too much to the game and most players would actually end up loving these features. Now, 
In recent times, we have gotten a lot of new content, especially with the 1.17, 1.18, and 1.19 updates. The last small update we got was the 1.15 update, the Buzzy B update. That was the smallest update out of the last five, and I'm really expecting the next update to be a smaller update as well, which would lead me to believe that archaeology is going to be that update. We have no current update announcement, which means that if Mojang is continuing to rely on their six month update goal of getting an update out every six months, then the next update we're gonna be seeing is going to be this winter, and we have no announcements for it so far. Now, of course, we know Mojang likes to player test all of the updates before they put them out. They release countless snapshots and pre-releases for us to try out before we actually dive into the actual update. They get a ton of player feedback, which is great for all our updates because it really makes the most out of each update. Now, of course, there has been some controversy recently with their updates and just how they've announced a lot of content and then not been able to deliver on all of that content. But Mojang has already promised that they're gonna be very specific about what they announce in order to make sure that they don't have that type of controversy again. So I'm really expecting that if they do announce an update for this winter uh, it's going to be a much smaller update like archaeology or a small overworld update that changes these desert biomes and also the savanna and swamp biomes the next update we could be looking at is an update to the birch forest now we saw some concept art for the birch forest in the 1.19 announcement the wild update they had a lot of different ideas planned for the birch forest like fallen hollowed out logs also mushrooms growing on trees and so much more in that small concept art which i'll put up on the screen now it's a really cool design and i really expect that if mojang is going to be doing a smaller update it's going to be something like this whether or not it's the desert update or even an update to the savannas if we're going to be looking at a birch update i think it's going to be something along these lines and whether or not Mojang actually wants to actually add this, we'll have to see. But since we are looking at a smaller update for this winter, this is still a very big possibility. Now, another big possibility after the controversy of the last updates where Mojang announced a lot but wasn't able to deliver on everything that they announced, uh, we could be looking at a delayed update not until next summer. This is very possible, but would also give Mojang a lot of time to work on a huge update for us and really deliver on whatever they decide to announce at Minecraft Live later this year. Now, of course, we currently have no date for Minecraft Live, but judging off of previous years, this is likely going to be sometime in early to mid-October, and it should give us a lot of details about if we're going to be seeing any updates this winter and if we're going to be seeing an update next summer. Now, if it's a small update, I do think we are going to be seeing that in winter. Mojang is likely already developing on these types of updates, and we're just not seeing any snapshots or anything until they finally announce something. Uh, if they do decide to do a larger update next summer, then we're really not going to see snapshots until probably December. But once we have those, we're going to know exactly what huge update we're going to be seeing. Now, a complete overhaul to all the overworld biomes would be amazing and definitely be a very large update. If they don't want to take them one or two at a time and just do them all at once, it's very possible that we wouldn't be seeing an update until next winter. Another large possibility is that we are getting an update to the end dimension. That would be a huge update if they were gonna be adding it. It would be the same size as say the 1.16 nether update. So if we're gonna be getting a large update like that, it's not gonna be coming out until next summer and it's also going to change something drastically in Minecraft, which I personally would love to see as the end dimensions are currently very boring and a lot of players actually don't go to them. But anyways, that is all that I have for you guys today. Those are the top eight things for what I think could be in the 1.20 update. Of course, we should be finding out more later this year in October, whether or not that update's even gonna come out this year in the holiday time, or if it's gonna be coming out next year and they're planning something bigger for an update. We should be finding out all the information at Minecraft Live in October. But Anyways, that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We'll be talking a lot about the 1.20 update. We cover mega bases, hermitcraft, empires, 
ZetaCraft, and so much more. So definitely check out the rest of our content. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.